Chuck Norris once made a joke about Jada Smith, while stood up and slapped her. The film starts with Richmond getting ready for a concert by local celebrity Ellen Aim. As the concert kicks off, a group of bikers clad in black leather jacket storms into town. At the concert, the attractive and energetic Ellen Aim starts her act, singing energetically against a backdrop of vibrant lights and loud music. The dark silhouettes of the biker gang slip into the audience, making their way to the front. They stand there, observing the performance silently, blending in with the crowd that sways with the rhythm of the songs. When Ellen finishes her first song, the bikers rush the stage and snatch her away. The musicians and concertgoers try to fight them off, but the bikers overpower them easily. They escape with Ellen, who screams for help, causing chaos in the streets outside. Reva Cody sends a message to her brother Tom, asking him to return home. Tom, just out of the military, catches a train back. Reva is at her diner when a group of troublemaking youths break in. She tells them to leave, but they respond with threats. Tom arrives, takes off his coat, and effortlessly deals with them, even throwing some through a window with a coat stand. They run off, and Tom takes their car, leaving Reva relieved to see him. Reva informs Tom that Ellen has been kidnapped by the bombers. Upset that Ellen is involved with her manager, and that Reva expects him to save her, Tom angrily leaves for a bar. There he meets McCoy, a tough, former military woman without a place to stay. Tom offers her his sister's couch for the night. Climbing into bed, Tom flips through some old photos of Ellen from their dating days. Reflecting on their past, he decides to change his course of action. The following morning, Tom connects with a friend who provides him with firearms. He then heads to the diner to confront Billy Fish, Ellen's current partner and manager. Billy, a nerdy guy with glasses and a penchant for bounties, believes his wealth sets him apart. He's skeptical of Tom's chances to save Ellen. Tom, however, sets his price at $10,000 for the rescue. Billy, though hesitant, agrees to the terms. Tom also insists that Billy join the mission, given his familiarity with the battery area where Ellen is held by the bombers. Initially resistant, Billy gives in, motivated by his desire to get Ellen back. McCoy expresses interest in joining for the chance to earn some money. Despite Billy's dismissal, Tom, possibly entertained by their mutual disdain, agrees to let McCoy in for a 10% share. With her experience in vehicle maintenance, McCoy is appointed as the driver. They set off for the battery, with McCoy and Billy exchanging sharp remarks along the way. At the battery, a band entertains a crowd at a biker bar called Torchies, where women in black fishnet stockings dance on the bar. Raven, the bomber's leader, retreats to a room where Ellen is bound to a bed. He suggests releasing Ellen after a brief coerced romance, which Ellen resists. He leaves after she rebuffs him. Tom, McCoy, and Billy plan their approach to Torchies. Tom positions himself on a rooftop across from the bar, while McCoy enters through the bottom floor, planning to ascend. Billy is tasked with picking them up after 15 minutes. From his rooftop vantage, Tom watches as McCoy navigates through the bar, eventually convincing a biker to take her upstairs. She's led to a party room, where the biker makes unwelcome advances. McCoy quickly incapacitates him with her pistol, then interrupts a card game among the leading bombers, including Raven, holding them at gunpoint. Tom spends his time observing bikers doing stunts outside the bar until he spots Ellen restrained on a bed within torches. He then begins to shoot at the motorcycles, causing them to explode into flames. Amidst the ensuing pandemonium, Tom enters the bar, quickly locates Ellen, and frees her. They encounter McCoy, and the trio escapes through the upper exit. Billy arrives just in time, and McCoy takes the driver's seat for their getaway. Tom instructs them to rendezvous at the Grand Station underpass, while he diverts the bomber's attention. Tom incapacitates more motorcycles and subdues several bikers. Escaping on a motorcycle, he is confronted by Raven, who threatens him. Tom warns Raven of his armament, but Raven boasts of his ability to procure ample weaponry, vowing retaliation against Tom and Ellen. Tom then speeds away. McCoy, Billy, and Ellen await at the Grand Station underpass. Billy, 
anxious about potential danger from bikers or police, suggests leaving, but Ellen insists on waiting for Tom, highlighting his role in her rescue. Billy points out Tom's financial motivation, sparking a debate between McCoy and Billy about Tom and Ellen's past relationship. Upon Tom's arrival, he advises a swift departure and abandonment of the car. Ellen requests a private conversation with Tom, expressing her need to discuss their past and his reasons for leaving. Tom reveals his frustration with Ellen for her relationship with Billy, while Ellen is upset with Tom for accepting money for her rescue. They abandon the car and navigate through a bustling borough. A fan recognizes Ellen and decides to follow them, expressing admiration. Tom stops a bus, belonging to a band called the Sorrels, in the crowded street by brandishing his gun and commandeers it for their escape. As they near Richmond, their journey is interrupted by a police roadblock. Billy's attempts at negotiation and bribery fail. Tom then courses the police into disarming and lying on the road while he damages their vehicles. They resume their escape on the bus, now pursued by the police. Forced to abandon the bus, they make their way to a train station, aiming to catch a train for their next move. Everyone returns to the police station in Richmond, drawing a crowd eager to catch a glimpse of Ellen. Ellen expresses her desire to leave town, and her resentment towards Tom for accepting payment for her rescue. The bomber's vice leader makes an appearance. The police chief consults with Raven, who demands Tom Cody surrender to ensure no further disturbances. At Reva's diner, Tom is visibly upset, while McCoy is frustrated with Tom for being egotistical and not acknowledging her contributions. She vents to Reva about Tom's behavior and leaves in a huff. Reva then criticizes Tom for wallowing in self-pity after Ellen's rejection, suggesting she had hoped the rescue would benefit Tom personally. The police chief arrives to inform Tom that Raven has requested a meeting the following day, advising Tom to leave town by night to avoid arrest, following Raven's potential arrest. Tom visits Ellen and Billy at their hotel, where Billy settles the debt with Tom. Tom confronts Ellen about his initial willingness to save her, without financial incentive, which has now faded. He rejects the full payment, keeping only the portion promised to McCoy, and departs. Billy mocks Tom's decision, but Ellen chases after him. Outside, amidst the rain, they share an embrace and are later seen together in bed. Ellen suggests they both leave town, offering to accompany him. Tom reconciles with McCoy at the bar, inviting her to join him and Ellen in leaving town immediately, and he accepts. While on the train, it halts, prompting Tom to attempt an exit. Ellen protests, but Tom incapacitates her with a punch, instructing McCoy to ensure Ellen's safe departure. Intent on returning to Richmond, Tom finds his plan thwarted by train service disruptions caused by the bombers. Raven shows up with two of his followers, as he had previously informed the police chief. The chief announces to him that Tom and Ellen have left, and places Raven under arrest. In response, Raven signals with a horn, summoning around 40 bikers armed with firearms. The arrival of the bombers prompts local residents to rush into the streets, armed and ready to support the police. Tom makes his appearance just as the situation escalates. In an unusual choice of weaponry, Raven and his gang come equipped with pickaxes for close combat. A fight breaks out. Tom manages to disarm Raven, discarding the pickaxe to ensure a bare-knuckle fight. After a fierce struggle, Tom, though battered, defeats Raven. The townspeople aim their weapons at the bombers, who then retreat with Raven. The film concludes with another performance by Ellen Aim. Tom watches from backstage as the Sorrels, now Ellen's opening act, perform. Billy confronts him, promising not to interfere. Tom suggests to Billy that he is a better match for Ellen. Upon encountering Ellen, it's clear she realizes Tom intends to leave. He reassures her of his availability should she need him in the future. Following a farewell kiss, Tom leaves. Ellen starts her performance while Tom observes from the venue's entrance, departing during her opening song. Outside, he meets McCoy, who has the vehicle Tom had previously commandeered from the gang. Together, they drive off, leaving the scene behind. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching.
please subscribe for more videos like this.